All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College and as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD 1000 Web Development Technologies course, I've been creating a series of video presentations based off of the Mozilla Developer Network Learn Web Development series. We're in the client-side JavaScript frameworks and we're talking React. We've been building this React to-do list and now it's, it says we're back to the filter buttons. It says now that the main features are complete, we can think of we can think about our filter buttons. Certainly they repeat the repeat all label and have no functionality. We'll be applying some skills we used in our to-do component to create a hook for storing the active filter, render an array that allows users to change between all to-dos, just the completed to-dos, and just the non-completed to-dos. All right. So the first thing we want to do, as it says there, is to add a new hook to the app. All right. So we want to put this hook in. And I'm going to add that here. Our goal right now is twofold. Each filter should have a unique name. Each filter should have a unique behavior. So in other words, let's assume that I have 10 tasks. Out of those 10 tasks, seven are not complete and three are complete. So when I click the All button, I should get all 10 tasks. When I click the Complete button, I should just get the three that have been completed. When I click the Incomplete button, I should just get the ones, the seven that have been not yet completed. All right, a JavaScript object would be a great way to relate names to behaviors. Each key is the name of the filter. Each property is the behavior associated with that name. At the top of app.js, beneath the imports, but above the app function, let's add an object called filter map. So again, this is an app.js. And it said we want this beneath the in whoops sorry beneath the inputs but above the app function so beneath the inputs but above the app function there it is so we're creating this global constant and again this as it says will be for all The values of the filter map are functions that we will use to filter the tasks array. The all shows all tasks, so it will return true. The active shows the tasks where the completed prop is false. The completed shows the tasks where the completed prop is true. All right. Beneath our previous addition, add the following. Here we are going to use the object keys method to collect an array of the filter names. So as we are defining these constants outside our app, because if they were defined inside it, they would be recalculated every time, and we don't want that. This information will never change no matter what our app does. We need the previous edition. Okay. So right here, right there. All right. Now that we have the filter names array, we can use it to render all three of our filters. Inside of the app function, we can create a constant named filter list, which we will use to map over our array of names and return a filter button component. Remember, we need the keys here too. Add the following underneath your task list constant declaration. So it sounds like this is in app.js. So under the task list designation, that's right there. So now we've got the filter list. Now we'll replace the three repeated filter buttons in app.js with this filter list. Replace these filter buttons with this. These. 
with this. Okay. This won't work yet. We've got a bit more work to do first. All right, so we've got this interactive filters, filtering, and that'll be it. Good deal. To make our filter buttons interactive, we should consider what props they need to utilize. We know that the filter button should report whether or not it is currently pressed, and it should be pressed if the name matches the current value of the filter state. So in other words, it should know that all means all, etc. We know that the filter button needs a callback to set the active filter. We can make direct use of our set filter hook. Update your filter list constant as follows. So this filter list that we had just put in, nor had we. Well, let's look. Update your filter list constant as follows. So, there it is. In the same way as we did earlier with our to-dos, we now have to update the filter button.js to utilize the props we have given it. Do each of the following, and remember to use curly braces to read the variables. All right, replace all with props name, set the value of aria pressed to props.ispressed, add it on click handler. When you're done, your filter button function should look like this. Now, I believe that's in filterbutton.js. So, which we have not really done anything with. I think we still need that import, but I think that's what we need to do. Okay. Visit your browser again. You should see the different buttons have been given their respective names. When you press a filter button, you should see a text take on a new outline. This tells you that it's been selected. And if you look at your DevTools page inspector, you should see the area pressed accordingly. However, the buttons don't actually filter yet. So that's, that's okay. So let's go back to here. And we've got a couple errors in our app.js on lines 61 and 62. Let's see if we can fix those. does not like those two lines. All right, I'm gonna go offline for a minute, take a look at this and see if I can figure out what the problem is. All right, I've spent uh, a good hour looking at this and I can get it partially working, which I know isn't a great thing, but it's, I guess it's better than saying it's not working. So if you look at my final product and I guess I'll have to apologize in advance for the way that it is, but uh, if I come in here, uh, I can now, so if I want to add a new task, a new task, okay, and I add it, it'll go in, it went change from three to four, there it is, I can click on there, I can edit it, really, a new task, hit enter, it's been changed. I can do that. I can delete it, and it goes from four to three. That's all fine. When I these have changed to all active and completed, but when I click on any of these, I get an error that says type error props dot set filter is not a function from filter button. All right, in line nine. So this line that's right here. <clears throat> So um, it is from th this file, our filter button, and I copied it over directly. 
So again, this is the line. And it's not recognizing the set filter. All right, but when you go back to the app.js file, Maybe it wasn't there, was it, to, to do? It has it right there. Filter, set filter. This is the variable, and this is what should be being called, so the set filter. And I don't understand. That's the only place it's in there. I don't understand why it is not picking this up but it's not it's refusing that saying that props.set filter is not a function so bottom line is this in my final offering of this i can i do have my to-do list i can add i can edit i can delete i can make things go back and forth between active and not active but i cannot correctly filter and I apologize for that. So hopefully you got something out of this. And uh, with where I am in here, so that's it. Our app is now functionally complete. Well, mine is not. However, now that we've implemented all our features, we need to make a few improvements for a wider range of users. The next one takes a look at focus management in React, which can improve usability and reduce confusion for keyboard only and screen, board, screen reader users. So again, remember, we're not doing Ember, View, Svelte, or Angular. So I've got these two to go. So next I will do the accessibility in React. All right, be back with that shortly.